Welcome to another video on our Embedded Craft channel. In this video, we will show preparation of Linux bootable SD card from scratch. Scratch means that you don't have ready made in file. But we have Linux kernel Z image and device tree binary file and root file system. So, relax and watch this video till the end. This video is part of our existing video which shows building of Linux kernel and preparing bootable SD card. If you want to see the full video refer to the link given in description. First we have to create two partitions on our SD card. First partition, will be of fat type and size will be 128 MB. In, second partition, where we will load root FS, it will have Linux EXT4 file system. And my SD card size is 32 GB, so the length of this partition will be 32 GB minus 128 MB. So, let us connect the SD card to host machine via USB card adapter. First we have to find out SD card dev number which Linux kernel will assign. Linux will automatically detect SD card, we see in notification. Let us see which dev it is assigned to our card. We have to type ls-ltr slash dev, pipe grep hyphen isd. sdb is my existing disk. SDC is my SD card. If you want to ensure, just remove your SD card and run same command. Observe that SDC has disappeared. And if I reconnect card, run same command, and you see SDC is visible now. So, dev SDC is our SD card. Our SD card actually is having two partitions already, one is SDC1 and another is SDC2. Okay. Now we have to remove existing partitions of SD card. We will use dd command to remove the existing partition. Commands I have already noted down, let me copy command and paste. Go back to our terminal and paste, and, enter. And we have to enter password. So, we have removed existing partition of SD card. Now we are ready to create new partitions. We will use cfdisk command. Type sudo cfdisk and slash dev slash sdc. We have to select DOS here, as we can see in our slide. Now we have to create partitions. Select new to create new partition. First partition size is 128 MB. Write 128M here. Select partition types as, primary. And, partition type will be FAT, FAT. I am going to select FAT16. It may be FAT16 or FAT32, it does not matter. We have to make this partition as bootable. So, set bootable flag. Ok, we have to create second partition. Again. Select new to create new partition. As you can see, tool has automatically selected remaining size. Second partition size will be 29.6 GB. And partition type is Linux. Now select write to write this partition table. Select yes. And now we can quit. So, our partition is done. Let us view all partitions we have just created. For partitions, we have to type cat proc partitions, I have to focus on SDC. So type grep SDC. As you can see we have two partitions, partition number 1 is SDC1 and partition number 2 is SDC2. That's it. Now we will format our first partition. Type sudo mkfs.vfat mkfs.vfat hyphen f32 and hyphen n boots la dev sdc1 oh we got error message okay it means we have to unmount our sd card partitions type you mount media embedded craft boot and you mount media embedded craft root fs now we can type same command mkfs.vfat 
hyphen F32, hyphen N boots la dev SDC1. Formatting done. To format second partition, type mkfs. ext4, hyphen L root fs, and hyphen E no discard, slash dev slash SDC2. Press enter. Type Y. Done. Now the second partition is also formatted. Remove and reconnect SD card. This should mount partitions automatically. We can see a notification pop up in bottom right. Now SD card partitions are mounted. Here is our SD card should look like to boot Linux. In first partition, we will have MLO. You boot IMG, Zimage, and AN335X Bone Black DTB file. Second partition will have root file system. So, we have to copy MLO, you boot IMG, Zimage, and DTB file to boot partition. I have already written commands to copy all files. First we will copy MLO file. So, copy and paste. MLO is copied. Now we will take command to copy your boot and file. Paste it. Now let me take command to copy image file. We will paste it here. And finally device tree binary. And paste. Now, we are coping command to extract root fs in second partitions. This will extract root fs to second partition. Paste. And enter password. All is done. As you can see in presentation, our SD card content should be like this. Let us see content of SD card. We are going to media. Embedded craft. Boot directory. Type dolphin. Dot. This will open boot directory in dolphin file browser. As you can see we have all files according to presentation. Let us close this. We will go to rootfs directory. And type dolphin.command. Now we have rootfs which is same as shown in my slides. Insert SD card into the board. Now we have to connect board with serial port. We will use TTL to USB adapter for serial port. And PicoCom utility a serial terminal. First we have to give permission to dev to USB. Type sudo chmod. A plus. RW slash. Dev to USB 0. Entering password for my account. Going to start PicoCom serial terminal. Type PicoCom hyphen P1150200, which is baud rate. Slash dev to USB 0. Now terminal is ready. Switch on the board by pressing S2 key. This will make board to boot from external SD card, not from the internal EMMC card. Board is booting. Press space key to stop board at bootloader. Now let us see our files in SD card. For this type MMC dev. This will take us to MMC 0 partition. Type MMC list. This is list of all MMC cards. Our card is SD MMC 0. To see content of first partition, type ls. MMC 0 colon 1 and press enter. So, we have MLO file. You boot Zimage and device tree file. Let us see content of second partition. MMC 0 colon 2 is second partition. In this partition we have been dev and all other directories. Now we have to load Zimage to RAM at location 82 million. 
for this command is fat load. I am going to copy command. Copy. And paste. As you see, file is copied to RAM. Now we are coping DTB file 2. 88 million location in RAM. Paste command in terminal. As you see, DTB is also copied. So, we have copied Z image at 82 million location in RAM. And, we have copied DTB file to 88 million location in RAM. Next step is we have to set you boot environment variable to pass argument to kernel. This command I have already copied, coping it, and paste. So here, we are telling to kernel that rootfs is available in dev mmc block 0p2 location. Rootfs type is ext4. Finally, boots command will boot Linux kernel from location 82 million, and device tree it will find at 88 million location in RAM. Pasting command in terminal. Wow, now the Linux kernel is booting. You can see kernel banner has embedded craft in name. Login password is root. Type you name hyphen a. You see my system name is build root hyphen ec. And this is our build date. So, that's it, we have seen compiling of Linux kernel, to preparing bootable SD card. And we have used uBoot to boot Linux on our board. With this we are going to end this session. If you like our video, please don't forget to subscribe to Embedded Craft YouTube channel. We will meet in our next video tutorial, meanwhile goodbye and take care.